So you got yourself a pistol finally. What 9mm ammo should I carry? And you're just going to go over here say what the guy at the gun store says. Are you an idiot? Come on. There is data out there. There is research, man. I did hours of research and all kinds of studies from every study there's ever been from real law enforcement results um, to, to, to gel tests from all the top guys. And I'm going to tell you in 9mm, what should you carry is dependent on barrel length. So these are on nine millimeters here. Other than this LCP, I just did a 380 video. What 380 ammo should you carry? Which is very, very clear. In nine millimeter, there's a lot more good choices out there. To understand uh, ballistics, you gotta look at, uh, number one is penetration is king. By far, penetration is king. You need adequate penetration to meet organs. All the other, rip bullets and this and that and civil defense and all that no no that doesn't get to the goodies especially if it has to go through a sideways shot at an angle through an arm first through you know six eight layers of clothing as it does as it goes through one side of an arm through the other side of an arm after going through a bone into through the next uh, third multiple layer of clothing two three layers and then through the ribs so penetration is king expansion is queen and then all else being equal kind of controversial but real world results tell us velocity or muzzle energy if i have something that does the first two the same i'm going to want the one with more muzzle energy as long as i can control it so it depends on what firearm platform you have and depends on the barrel length okay you got a three inch barreled pistol here you got a 3.5 inch barreled pistol here a 3.9 inch barreled pistol here and a five inch barreled pistol here Obviously, longer barrel length, more velocity. Is that always a good thing? No, not necessarily. It depends, depends totally on the hollow point profile, when it was designed, what it was meant for. Most hollow points were designed for the 3.5 to 4.5 range, 3.9 or 4 inch, like a Glock 19. This is 3.9 uh, SIG P320 Compact. They're kind of made for that range. Outliers are 5 inch and 3 inch. So if you have a 3.18, I believe, shield or PPS or uh, Ruger LC9S, you have something along those lines or Glock 43, what works good in that is not necessarily what works good in your Glock 19 size or this 320 size, this compact size. Also, some stuff that works really good in this range does not, with the higher velocity, work good at this range. The bullet fails. It's driven to velocity higher than that hollow point was designed for higher than the threshold okay so there's some easy answers and there's some long answers guys nine millimeter what you should carry depends on barrel length and depends on the weight of the pistol and how, what, how experienced of a shooter you are how recoil sensitive you are this is a heavy pistol so even though it's only three inch so you could put a short mag in there i could put a longer mag in there or i could put this longer plus extension on there Okay, get 18 and 19 rounds in there, or I could go as low as 13, but it depends on the weight. This is 28 ounces. If you have a shield at like 18 ounces, if you have a shield or an LC9S or a Glock, PPS is like 21 ounces, 0.7, so PPS is heavier. But if you have any of those three that are sub 20 ounce, maybe and you're a newer shooter, your smaller stature, recoil sensitive, that might matter. In general, what you are going to want. There's two top choices in my opinion. Most people give two others that I don't think are nearly as good as the top two. The top two being, uh, in general, in weight, you want 124 grain. Okay, not 115, not 147, you want 124 grain. Number one is HST. The best performer in a 3.5 inch to four and a half inch, three and a half to four and a half inch barrel is gonna be 124 grain plus HST or 124 grain plus P golden saber, okay? Unbonded, we'll get to the bonded in a second. The best one's gonna be that 124 HST plus P, okay? And in a three and a half, in, in something this size or bigger, most people can actually handle that recoil. And you want the higher velocity. Anyone that tells you differently doesn't really know what they're talking about. Penetration number one, yes, penetration needs to be met. But if you have penetration and expansion, you're, you want higher velocity, higher muzzle energy. Okay, you just do. <laughs> um, however, if you have only a three inch 
barrel. Under three and a half inches, you may want to go with regular pressure, 124 grain HST. Even to 2.8 inches, maybe even less. I don't think you need the micro, you need the regular. And that's what I have here is the HST bullet, 124 grain standard pressure. So this gun gets all that. My other pistols, three and a half inches to five inches, 3.9 or four inch area, are either gonna get HST 124 plus P. If you can find it, it is hard to find. And buy it online and fit your own boxes. Don't get ripped off for like 21 bucks. Instead of buying it 21 bucks for 20 rounds um, at the store or 25 bucks, it's ridiculous. Or the Golden Saber. I think the, in data, the Golden Saber even does better and also early street results. Yes, it's an older bullet, but in early street results, the Golden Saber, which I have here, this actually bonded in the backup mag, the Golden Saber does really, really well. Okay. Now it's an older design, um, and yeah, occasionally uh, the jacket may separate from the inner core. But what's important to me is that inner core, 32 caliber, 90 grain, which is left over, still penetrates far like a sable round, like a high profile military 30 millimeter Vulcan type sable or sable round. Okay, even through um, possibly through barriers, possibly through windshield, I believe that inner uh, lead slug is still going to be going through. You get greater expansion with the unbonded versus bonded. If you're law enforcement, maybe you need that bonded right away. I like the unbonded in the first 10 rounds. Okay, in the first 10 rounds, 11 rounds are gonna fire, I like the unbonded. Past that, I like the bonded, okay? Because it might possibly do better through barriers overall. I like the bonded staying together. Um, just in human bodies and gel, the, the unbonded is gonna give you better penetration, better expansion. So, um, it's either HST, or it's gold and saber. Everyone's gonna say gold dots. Good in the plus P only in my opinion. Only if you can handle 124 grain plus P, which means in a 3.5 inch or greater barrel that can make use of that plus P. Less than that, people are gonna say, oh, you need that plus P to get the velocity or lower. No, you're just making, the gunpowder is usually not burning. You're not getting a higher velocity actually than the standard pressure usually. And um, you're just getting more uh, recoil and more blast and things that are wanted. Guys, that is it. Critical duty, critical defense, way, way under performer, under pressure, under velocity. Not good unless the bottom of the mags are backup magazines. Um, and really, that's it. That's what you should be carrying. Now, what you should be uh, training with, this aluminum stuff is great. Remy, it's actually pretty hot, this Federal. And uh, SMB or Fioki, if you want hot stuff to practice with, that is similar to the plus P's. So if you, you know, your regular practice and then sometimes practice with some of this as well as your carry ammo, practice with the SMB or the Fioki, or I ordered some Spear Lawman as the hottest nine FMJs you can find. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.